Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzel World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this body cam made by Bob Lov. Now this is a $50 body cam that you guys can find on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go pick this thing up. And I guess there's not really much more to say about it other than, uh, you know, this thing is a pretty small body cam. And from what I could tell, it comes with like a little USB uh, included. I'm going to have to see what that is, but um, I guess we'll see once we get into the box. So on the front here, you can see here it says 1080p, full HD, high definition, uh, smart chipset. We also have the Sony 307 Pro lens on there and also loop, uh, loop recording and also has timestamps, so that's pretty nice. I'll show all that off in a little bit. I'll actually record a video from here and I'll just put it into this video in uh, iMovie. See, it's lightweight, 1080p, uh, timestamps again and loop recording yet again. Amazon label is right there. And then on the back or the front, uh, pretty much the same thing. Though, uh, please format the card to FAT32 before using. So keep that in mind. Maybe if you put in an SD card in here and it wasn't working, it was giving some sort of an error, make sure it's uh, FAT32. And also, if it's above 128 gigabytes, it won't work. It will only take up to 128. So keep that in mind. Anyways, let's go ahead and open it here. Looks like you pull from the top. And there we go. Looks like I was actually pulling the box itself out, partially. There it is. We have a USB cable included, micro USB. Would have been nice to see USB-C, but it's not a massive deal. We also have this little, again, this is the USB I'm talking about. Um, okay, so it looks like, okay, I see what this is. Or do I? Yeah, I guess I kind of do. Huh, that's a weird design right there. So pretty much what you do is this goes into a normal USB and you have a little micro USB, or not a micro USB, a micro SD card slot right there. So that's kind of cool. We also have the uh, body cam right here. And okay, yeah, this thing is tiny, all right. Be very interested to uh, see how it performs. Yeah, this thing is tiny, wow. Check that out, doesn't even have a screen, obviously. Cool, so there's that. And then we also have the instruction manual and it looks like, um, what is this? Looks like a little clip of sorts to maybe clip it onto your shirt, maybe. I'll have to read the uh, owner's manual, instruction manual, whatever, to see what it says about this. Anyways, there it is. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is go to read the owner's manuals, uh, check up on this, learn what it does, and go ahead and test it out. Hopefully it sounds good and hopefully it looks good too, um, though because of this size I'm not sure if it's actually going to be great quality. I have it currently uh, clipped onto my shirt however, so you can see if I walk around it might be a little bit, you know, uh, jiggly I guess. Uh, it probably doesn't have uh, built-in stabilization, but uh, I guess we'll see in a minute. Anyways, again, this is what it sounds like. I'll kind of get a close-up here just to show you guys how the focus is. Hopefully you can see that well. That's just one of the uh, little uh, trees or whatever in our front yard. Anyways, I'll go in and stop it now and we'll see how it turned out. All right, so there was a quick little video and audio test coming from this body cam. Now for the uh, video resolution, I was actually really kind of impressed. Uh, I was expecting it for it to be a lot worse and it actually wasn't. So I was really happy to see that and the audio was about what I was expecting. Um, when it was on my shirt, I, when I reviewed the video, I noticed it was, uh, it was first of all at an angle, that's just because of how I clipped it. Um, you could try to get that straight, though it's never gonna be 100% because, you know, it's just clipped onto your shirt. And also when I was walking around, the thing was jiggling quite a bit, so it obviously doesn't have a image stabilization built in. Uh, which is unfortunate, though thankfully, even though it was kind of jiggling, it didn't really seem to be blurry. So if you're, you know, maybe running or something, trying to get someone's face on camera or something, um, you would more than likely still be able to see their face if you, like, do it frame per frame. You know, like, pause the video and go frame per, uh, per frame. It shouldn't really be blurry, at least from what I could tell. 
Also, uh, obviously you guys saw the video function. You could also take just audio if you wanted to, which there's no real point on putting that into the video because it's using the same microphone that it was during the video. So that's what the audio sounds like. And that's what it would sound like when you're using the, um, just the voice recorder function, which is actually over here, you have to slide this little uh, switch right there, which is pretty nice. The camera will focus, there we go. And then also you could take a uh, just a still photo if you wanted to, so that's pretty nice. You just press that button and then boom, it'll take a photo. Um, there's no real point on showing that either because it's using the same lens and camera as it would in the video. So whatever it looks like on video would also look like the same, you know, resolution and stuff in a photo. So that's really why I'm only putting in the video with the audios because, you know, there's no point not to. There's no point on just doing the audio and the photo alone. Anyways, um, now for this little thing right here, I really can't tell what that's for. I looked in the user manual real quick and at a glance, it doesn't say anything about it. Um, so I'm not sure what's with that. Also again, this thing here, I'm pretty sure this is just a, uh, you just plug this end into your computer right here, a USB port. And then this end right here is a micro SD. And then you can just read the um, contents that are on a micro SD card out of this thing, you plug it into a computer and read that really quickly. So that's pretty cool. Also, I want to show you guys the manual here. Maybe yours didn't come with one or maybe you're just wanting to see the manual before you buy one. Well, here it is as I knock into the tripod. Um, anyways, here it is. You can see the contents over here and uh, what everything does right there. And uh, also one thing I wanna point out over here, actually right about here. So for the, um, for the date and time stamps, uh, you actually have to download a file and drag and drop it onto the camera, uh, which I found that kind of weird. I guess that would make sense uh, by default. Um, it's automatically off. It doesn't have that file on the SD card. So you actually have to download it, put it onto the SD card, and then you will be able to have the uh, date uh, stamps on the video. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, wish it was built in by default, but maybe if you want it off, um, obviously the only way to have it off would just not to be, uh, to just not download this, that file. And if you do want date, uh, stamps, you have to go to that link. I uh, hear that they provide right there. Go to our official website right there. And, uh, then you have to download that file, drag and drop it again, and then it will work. So there it is. Uh, overall, what do I think of this mini camera, body camera, whatever you want to call it? Uh, I would say it's pretty decent maybe um i mean if you're like a cop or something or maybe doing as like you know you're always gonna have this thing on you i would go personally with a higher end you know actual name brand camera uh but for maybe if you're only gonna have this thing on every once in a while or something like that uh it, it's a pretty good way to go it seems to do a pretty good job again in terms of audio and also video i just wish it had that stabilization but not a massive deal uh, it still, again, it stays pretty clear. It doesn't get all blurry and stuff when moving around. It just simply, you know, jiggles around. But again, doesn't seem to really get blurry. So I'd say if you're looking for what seems to be a pretty decent uh, body camera, I would say this is definitely a pretty good choice. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.